Is that a monolith? I can sense the ancient tongue. We're near one. It looks like it's just ceremonial. This bow is a divine artifact! A what? Oh, right. Hold on. So if this bow is a divine artifact, what does that mean? A divine artifact determines the form the Armatus will take. Essentially, it serves as a model for the Armatus. A model for the Armatus? Oh, yeah. Like Lila's Sacred Blade. The Sacred Blade of Lady Lake is also a divine artifact. Huh, and that's why your Armatus is a sword. Hey, does this mean that I can use your Sacred Blade to armatize with other Seraphim as well? Well, that depends on the circumstances. First, as I mentioned earlier, just as I am the Prime Lord of you, the Shepherd, they would have to become my Sublord in turn. What exactly is a Sublord? Put simply, it is the title for one who assists Saray while working under the influence of my power. <sighs> Consider the elemental property of the Divine Artifact. Each Seraph has their own unique element that falls under their control. Mine, for instance, is fire. So if the Divine Artifacts all have their own elements, does that mean a Seraph can't armatize with it if their element is different? Indeed it does. It would appear this bow's element is water. And Miklio is a water Seraph. Let's go! Huh? Saray does not wish to make Miklio his sublord. Why not? It's no different than when I was made a squire. But you called on the Shepherd's power in order to achieve your dream. Isn't that right? Miklio is different. Remember, this place was in the Celestial Record. Saray, there's something written on the arrow pedestal. It looks like ancient tongue. Oh, show me! Um... Don't walk off with relics and other junk you find in the ruins, okay? And no breaking stuff. On the other hand, treasure chests are fair game. So go nuts! Very lighthearted, these ancients. I'm not so sure. The distinction between academic research and crass looting can be very fine indeed. Perhaps their buried message is, contemplate always the true intent of your actions? Now you're taking it too far in the other direction. Nothing wrong with interpreting it that way. <laughs> but I'm thinking this might just be a joke the ancients left for us. Indeed. Ruins are made by people just like us, so it only makes sense for them to reflect human nature. Quite profound. That's what we like about you, Alicia. Your, uh, sincerity. I just saw a monolith written in ancient tongue.
careful. Yes. What? W where? Uh, above! I can see it. Don't. It's poisonous. Stop! <laughs> Lila, get back! Okay. Fepus Mioma! Vermilion Crescent! It's resistant to fire! Burning at the Predatory of Flesh! Go! Vermilion Crescent! Full force! Burning at the Flesh! Burning at the Never! Vermilion Crescent! Burning Shards! Burn! Burn away! Full force! Vermilion Crescent! Burn away! Vermilion Crescent! No! Your Mattis' attacks aren't working on them! They're resistant to fire! Burning My power's no Burning use on them! There's still so many of them! Dang! Twin Flow! Miklio! You couldn't have timed that bet! Sure! Lila! Let me become your sublord. Are you sure about this? Wait, hold on now! You're right. I am stubborn as a rock. Uh, huh? I admit it. I'm hellbent on becoming a sublord. But there's something important that you don't understand. I do understand. I just didn't want you to get involved. Get over yourself. <sighs> do you really think this is your dream alone? says you can hear him too this is our dream now Lila very well oh ye born of the sacred current of peace Miklio Lila here let our path be forged that my unquavering incandescence may be as thy purification. Shouldst thou accept this burden, recite, allow your etc. etc. Now for the Armatis. Miklio, give Saray your true name. He already knows. You bet I do. Oh my! Here we go, Miklio. Let's end this. Stand strong. Now my chance. I'll do the aiming, Saray. All right. I'm counting on you. Break down! Break on through! Blue? Wow, that was amazing, you two. Oh, were you able to remove it? Now that you mention it, it just came off. I wonder why. Does it... does it really matter? Besides, this means that I can now use the Armatus at will, right? Lost those training wheels. Look at you. Shut up. Makes sense. So, that's why you couldn't take it off before. Miklio, I wanted to say... Don't thank me. After all, I merely did this for my own dream. I know that. I feel oddly envious. Agreed. Alicia, don't tell me... Yes. Not only can I hear your voice, I can see you now. No way! You can see Seraphim now? I think it just goes to show how strong you've already gotten. <laughs> Maybe we do have a fighting chance against this Lord of Calamity. Saray. Lila. Miklio. Please accept my sincerest gratitude for saving me. It was nothing, I assure you. But you're welcome. I thought we weren't supposed to be thanking you. Guess there's no need to worry. All right, the waterfall is just up ahead.
I don't think we've checked that monolith out yet. Here to me. Hey, Miklio, do you think you can freeze this water? Huh? Yeah, don't see why not. Then freeze it and let us bring it back to the sanctuary. Ice is highly resistant to being corrupted by malevolence. Very well, I'll give it a try. Thank you very much. That should suffice. Now, before this melts, we'd better take care of our other problem. What? It finally reacted to something. So that was something real from the past. Did you see that, Miklio? He was writing the Celestial Record. Yeah, that must have been the author. There are more Earth and Historia where this came from. If we obtain them, surely we can obtain more information about the past. Oh man, this is too sweet! This is only the beginning. Don't get so worked up, or you'll just wear yourself out. Right. Whoa, Sarai! He's burning up. This is the result of the pact we made with Miklio. He'll get better after some rest at the inn. I'll carry him back. If we want to cool him down, I guess I better make some more ice. 